there, it's Rachel, founder of Hot Chocolate and creator of the Styled Stock Library. In this training video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to update your headers so that you can let people know about your holiday promotions. So for headers, you have a few different options and a few different places where you can make updates. So what you're going to want to do is go into Canva and then you can see here you've got social media and email headers. So you have any of these options depending on the different platforms that you use. You even, if you're an Etsy shop owner, have this Etsy cover photo, which is really cool because then you can let people know about any type of holiday promos that are going on in your Etsy shop. So for now, for this example, let's go ahead and create a Facebook cover. Now, if you're using Facebook from your personal page, of course, you're going to want to take into account where your profile picture is going to be. But actually, if you are um, using Facebook in your business page, you don't have to worry about this area anymore. So what you're going to want to do is go to your uploads and find your photos. If you haven't uploaded them yet, you can create a new folder, go into the stock, stock library, download the ones that you want, and then just um, click and drag them into your new folder. I already have my winter ones saved here. And then I'm gonna choose the one that I wanna use. So let me just take a quick look. Let's say I wanna go with something that's pretty festive. Now the thing with headers, and I get emails about this sometimes, is that you, know, you can't fit the whole picture into the space without having some cropping going on. Um, it's just because of the dimensions of a header. And so you might need to play around with a few different photos to see what you like best. But basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is click and drag and then just drag it out. And then, you know, play around with the placement so that it looks how you want it. Okay, so let's say I like how that looks. Now, let's just pretend that I have an entertaining blog and I want to you know let people know that on my blog I have like your holiday entertaining guide that's a free download or something like that. So I want to add some text over top so that I can really utilize this space so that it's not just a pretty photo but it's actually letting people know something or giving them a call to action. What I'm gonna do because this photo has really no area for me to write I'm gonna create an overlay so I'll go to elements and shapes I'm going to click on this first square here and then I'm going to drag it out to cover the entire photo. And then I'm going to change the color to white and then I'm going to go over to the transparency and tone it down a little bit so that we can still see the photo. Actually you guys, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to change the color to a dark color and then I'm going to use a white font. All right, so this is pretty cool because I can still see the photo behind it but I can now actually add some text over top. So I'm just pressing T on my keyboard to get a text box. Different styles of text, different font sizes, different fonts, etc. So for the first one, I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna change the font, change the font size. This happens, just make your text box larger. And then I'm going to have Holiday Entertaining Guide in a larger, um, kind of more prominent font because that's kind of my key. Oh, that's way too big. That's kind of my key thing that I want people to pay attention to. So obviously, you know, your messaging is going to change, but I just want to show you how I would sort of make edits and add my info. So that could be a header on your Facebook page because now it's not just wasted space. You're, you're sharing a message about something that you have of valuable free content or if you have a sale or whatever it is, you're letting people know about it. And so it's not just like, a, you know, a, a random pretty photo that you have up there. And you could even write, click to download. So if they click this, so now what you want to do is in the caption for this header, you are just going to actually link to your free download so they can, um, they'll click on it, it'll open up the photo and then they'll be able to see the caption and just let them know really easily where they can download it. Of course, if you are using Facebook business page, then you have a little button where you can send people. So you might even want to do an arrow 
maybe here and then you'll have a button where you can say like sign up or learn more or whatever the case is. If you wanted to do that arrow, you can just search for arrow here and then grab one that you want and sort of face it this way in this area <laughs> because the button would be just like right about here. When you're ready, you can go ahead and name it and then save it, file save, and then go ahead and download it in PNG format because that's going to uh, make your text a lot more crisp. So when you hit download, it'll get downloaded to your computer and then you just log on to Facebook and upload it. And so you can do this for all of your different social media platforms. You can also do this for your email header and uh, even like your website or blog header. So, you know, think about what kind of promotions you have going on for the holidays and think about some different messaging. It doesn't have to be the exact same image or the exact same messaging by any means across your social media platforms. But what I would do is use similar types of photos. So maybe you choose one collection from the Style Stock Library and use photos from that collection. And then I would use the same fonts for everything so that they're all tied together and they look nice and cohesive. So hopefully that was helpful. Good luck with all of your holiday promotions.